In this first animation, we have a glass column containing a liquid and a solid. The liquid is a petroleum ether, which is a type of petroleum distillate. The solid material consists of small, solid particles of crushed chalk. To begin with, we drop a solvent leaf extract with a dropping pipette into the top of a glass column. The leaf extract is a dark green colour. This extract contains a mixture of coloured components, and as the stopcock is opened, the liquid runs through the column and the coloured components move through the column and appear as coloured bands. You will notice that the three coloured bands are moving through the column and separating from each other. This is a slightly less complex separation than the first experiment over 100 years ago, but demonstrates the process quite well. The red band is attracted the least amount to the chalk particles and is running faster through the column. The green component sticks the most to the chalk and is running behind the other pigments. The blue pigment is sandwiched between the other green and red pigments. By the time the bands come out of the bottom of the column, they have separated from each other. Chromatography literally means writing with colours, and the name originates from this very first experiment.